This is a menace that's growing. It's attacking inside of Afghanistan. It's beginning to attack the region, and it will grow into a menace that can attack Europe and the United States. Oh my God, they're all going to come after us next. Is this sounding familiar already? Because we're already seeing this issue in, in play it on the Russia-Ukraine war, where if we don't stop Putin here, he's going to keep rolling and getting us. Keen here again uses that exact same commentary on ISIS, this tiny little branch of an Islamic violent group in Afghanistan that threatens the Taliban, ironically. That's who's the, the biggest conflict over there is between the Taliban and ISIS. But he's saying, oh, no, but then they'll get bigger and then they'll then they'll go to Europe and then they'll come to the United States. No, there's no reason why the, the terrorists that are going in Afghanistan is going to be somehow this horrible fair that we have to have troops on the ground forever. Understand that we should keep our troops forever in Iraq, forever in Syria, forever in Africa that we have a number of places in, in Somalia, for example, Niger, all these places. Anytime you ever say hey, we should withdraw our troops from here. They jump and say no. This report that came out didn't say that America is under you know, renewed threat from terrorist strikes from ISIS in Afghanistan. They just said that they're growing. And so he immediately left all this additional area to warn you, to make you think, oh my God, we really do have to, maybe we should send more troops back there. Or of course, they'll use that to more likely to say, don't ever leave any of these other places. And folks, this is a huge dissipation of American power. When we keep having to have thousands upon thousands of American troops scattered throughout the world, especially throughout the Middle East, doing missions that have nothing to do with our national security, we dilute our own national security capacity. Because while those troops are there, they're not training on high intensity warfare with Russia or with China, for example, if that should ever be necessary. Instead, they're basically sitting in the desert doing nothing just waiting to see if a bomb's going to drop on them. It's the most egregious waste of our resources and unnecessary risk to our troops that can be imaginable.